Hello, this is Jan Dolce at Sutter Instrument. This is a short tutorial about checking the pull cable adjustment on your Sutter P97, P1000 or P2000 puller. A pull cable that has detached or is not properly adjusted is one of the factors that may cause variability in your pull results. So our tech support will ask you to check the adjustment of the pull cable and probably a few other components. Pull cables are attached to the ends of the puller bars on each side. They are routed around the upper pulleys and then over a pair of lower pulleys underneath the base plate and on to the pull mechanism. First let's make sure the pull cables are properly attached. The end of each pull cable is terminated with a crimp on switch. The majority of the pull force is transmitted to the puller bar by the cable retaining screw. Inspect the cable retaining screw and the switch on both sides. Here's how it's supposed to look. The cable is firmly clamped and the switch is parallel to the puller bar. If there's a little gap between the switch and the hole in the puller bar, that's perfectly okay. If the switch is at an angle in contrast, the retaining screw is loose. Once pull is applied to the cable, the switch rotates outward and sideways force is applied to the puller bar. Contact Sutter Tech Support if your puller looks like this. Now let's take a look at the actual pull cable adjustment. Two aspects are important. First, the pull cables must have a certain amount of play, and second, the play must be the same on both sides. To check for correct play, unlock one of the puller bars from its spring stop and move it to the center like this. Hold it at the finger bar with one hand and tap the pull cable close to the rubber bumper. The cable should have about 2 mm of play. In other words, you should be able to push the cable roughly until it sits on the bottom of the cutout in the bumper. Do not use too much force and make a kink in the cable. Under no circumstances at all must the pull cables be under tension. If you cannot pull the puller bars together until they sit against the hex screw in the slotted hole, ouch, call Sutter Tech Support immediately. If the pull cable is tuned to treble C, or any other note for that matter, it's under tension and it shall not be. The second aspect to check is that the amount of play is the same on both sides. Here are two techniques for this test. Pull the puller bars all the way together. Now tap one puller bar against the hard stop and watch the lower portion of the pull cable on the other side. You should see movement that corresponds to your tapping. Reverse sides and repeat. If you see the movement to about the same extent on both sides, you're good. Another simple test is releasing each of the puller bars while holding the other one at the hard stop. Both puller bars should drift outward by about the same distance. If a pull cable is a little too tight or too loose, it can be adjusted to the correct tension as described in the user manual. We strongly recommend, however, that you check back with our tech support before digging into your toolkit. Visit our website or our YouTube channel to watch the growing collection of Sutter tutorial videos.